7.30 start tonight. Looking forward to that? Absolutely. That's a great place to play because it's outside. You're right on the river. And often, you know, ships will come by. And when we played there a number of years ago, everyone in the audience <laughs> did one of these. So they blast us with a horn. I thought I was going to uh, lose my lunch. <laughs> Josh Barfield leading it off here for the Indians. Is Josh related to Jesse? Yes, that's his dad. Right on, Jesse. Absolutely. Jack. Yeah. He used to play in Toronto, where you guys are from. Absolutely. He was a stalwart on the Blue Jays when the... Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if he was around for the World Series back-to-backers, but I know in the uh, in the 80s... He, he came, came up in the 80s. He led the American League in uh, home runs. I played against him. He hit a lot of balls over my head when I was a player. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's great to see his, you know, the, his son here. Father's Day. This is great, fellas. <laughs> this is magic TV. Josh fouls one off over on the left side. So growing up, were you a big baseball fan? I know hockey is king in Canada. Yeah, hockey's king, but, you know, the, the Blue Jays provided us with a number of uh, exciting seasons. And, uh, yes, they did. I, I, I got really into it in the drive of 85 when... Uh, we made it to the American League final, and uh, Bobby Cox, Bobby Cox was, the, was the GM, and Jim Sundberg hit a, uh, a homer, I think somewhere in the 11th inning, and ended our dreams. But, uh, you know, it was uh, a great time, and then we won the back-to-backer. So the problem with it, the Jays in Toronto is, as you say, is a hockey city. So uh, getting some of those Maple Leaf fans out to the uh, ballpark is sometimes difficult. But I remember when they uh, first opened up Exhibition Stadium out there and they played down on the water. Yeah. They could drink beer. <laughs> really good. Egg, some Molson's and stuff. And there was a doubleheader one time when we were in there playing them. And I had my boys up from Niagara Falls, New York. It was an ugly thing at that, about the seventh inning of the second <laughs> doubleheader. Well, you know, we got the high test beer up there. Yes, right? you so, do. Uh, I was trying to tell those guys from New York, don't Base be yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's such a great day here at, at the ballpark. And this field is, you know, this is an example of the of the great new old style ballparks. Yeah. And it's uh, it's so nice that we got the Sky Dome in Toronto, which is, it can be a little bit foreboding, but they've improved that a little bit as well. It looks a little more like a real ballpark. Now, not only are you guys on tour, but I understand in the off season, you've got something pretty cool. Ships and dip. Can you talk about that? Oh, our cruise. Yeah, we've uh, we've entered the cruise business. <laughs> Grady Sizemore flies out the center today. Um, we all of our uh, all of our fans and all of our friends seem to be on that cruise. Uh, we have a bunch of other bands that we're pals with, uh, guys like Guster and uh, uh, the Odds out of Canada and um, uh, comedians. Harlan Williams, the guy who was in Rocket Man, comes on the. Uh, comes on the cruise with us and it's essentially a floating music and comedy festival with a lot of fun workshop. It? it's so fun yeah. I, we were dreading it at first we thought they'd be locked up with our fans in a boat <laughs> for five days it's good that, ugly yeah but it, it was really really fun so we're doing it again this january well, speaking of ugly <laughs> today's ceremonial I first that remark. Pitch. Oh. Oh. today's ceremonial first pitch. Oh, oh no a replay great tyler That's stewart a, well there's only one good shirt form, good form. like this Oh, just oh. Close to a bit outside. It was a bit of a yeah, just a little outside. You know, uh, it was far away out there. It looks a lot closer on television. And uh, you have to throw it a little softer and put a little more, a little more underneath it, a little more arc, and it would be fine. It looked like you turned it over for a screwball and you didn't have the hitter up there. Yeah, uh, that would have been. Uh, I probably would have taken the hitter out. He might have charged the mound, and uh, <laughs> the ladies would have been looking for a new drummer tonight down at the uh, plane field. Uh, you know, the great thing about the first pitch and the ceremonial thing is you've seen people on TV mess it up, right? And then you've seen people just sort of lob it in there. I said, I'm going to go somewhere in between. I'm not going to mess it up, and I'm not going to lob it. And I ended up sort of <laughs> messing it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Derek Shelton who was catching your uh, first pitch. You know what? Good catcher would have had that. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, Derek. <laughs> He's going to be in the third row for your show tonight. He's a big fan. Awesome. Jason Michaels grounds out the end of the inning. Tyler, thanks for being with us. Uh, great Have to a be great here. show tonight. Yeah, what a pleasure. That's Tyler Stewart, the bare naked ladies there at concert tonight at the Blaine Dealer Pavilion. No score here in Cleveland after three. The KMG two